Hello. Ooh. Hello, everyone. Good evening. This is me, Demi Bernice, currently live on the Facebook page. So, hello. I am going to send. All right. So, the, the broadcast is now sent. Alrighty. And I'm just going to double check things here, the technical aspects of things. <laughs> so I have to make sure that I am here live with you right now and that I can actually see you. <laughs> I can actually see you. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to turn on a lot of technical aspects and stuff. But while I'm doing this, I'd like to announce and while we are you know, waiting for people to come here with us. I'd like to announce that again, Create and Rise Academy is going to be open on September 20 to 24, 2019. That is this year. Mm, dad joke. <laughs> um, yes, I'm very excited. I am actually not prepared for it, but since the batch alpha is going to be graduating that time, and of course, I have to also let more people in. Okay, alrighty. Wait, so today we're going to talk about ta top seven habits of highly successful freelancers. And I have to see if we have people here with me. All right, so I hope there isn't any internet connection problems because I'm actually using a different software right now. All impromptu, no testing the day before. I just tested everything today, so I'm not even sure if this is going to work, but regardless, I am recording this anyway. So if you feel like it's too buffery and it's not working, then we will upload the video on the page, right? We will upload the recorded video on the page. Okay, so let's see if I am actually live on my phone. And while that is happening, okay, yay, live. Okay, <laughs> so I may not be able to see your comments. Hello, oh, okay, we have people here. We have Rhea, Adele, we also have AVES. Uh, <laughs> we also have Lizelle, Lizelle, how do you pronounce your name? It's the letter Y. We have Lucy and we have Madel. Uh, hi, beautiful chore. Okay. All right. So I am pumped and ready to do the live video. So here we are. We have 20 people here. That is crazy. 20 people. Congratulations. Highest number so far. <laughs> we have. I think the last time we did a live video, it was 18 people that joined and now we currently have 20. So that's really cool. Okay. So now we have seven habits of highly successful freelancers. And it's funny because last week I was actually reading other people's bios as in like biographies, like where do they live or how did they become successful? You know, these successful people that we have like Bill Gates and you know, Bill, I'm a fan of Bill Gates, by the way, for some reason. He's like this old man that is that is so cute and adorable. Not because I have like a romantic whatever, whatever that is. It's not like that. It's just that I, I would want him to be my grandfather, you know, kind of thing. Because <laughs> he's just like so smart and like very humble and low key and like very down-to-earth type of person and I really like that like if you have seen my boyfriend my boyfriend is exactly that but he's just not Bill Gates <laughs> I'm just kidding he's very low-key so I really like people that are like so low-key and I am not like that like if you're going to see me in person I'm like hey, try, try. you know I'm so noisy and I am still under introvert so I took the 16 personalities test.com and I am still categorized as an introvert because I don't want to go out and I don't want to hang out with people so I'm still an introvert I'm just really talkative so it's it must be a good thing you know becoming an introvert but you're also talkative <laughs> okay right so yeah so last week I did that I kind of like looked into biographies of the, f the most famous people and it's very fascinating to know that these people, even though they're very different people, I mean, like Steve Jobs is very different from Bill Gates, right? And then we also have 
um, Ariana Huffington, which is the owner of the Huffington Post, is also completely different from, let's say, um, uh, Sarah Blake Blakely, I think. Sarah Blakely, which is, she's like the, the found, like, billionaire, youngest female billionaire. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you know Sarah, who Sarah Blakely is, but she's like, she's like youngest billionaire because of the, I cannot even remember, but she's into the fashion field and like, you know, these clothing wear and stuff like that. So it's just crazy. And I was like, dude, these people are, there must be something. You know, I just got curious, like there must be something that is common between these people and how they're doing their work. Because if there should be a pattern, right? There should be a pattern for successful people. It's not that successful people just became successful just, just because of luck. Like, I don't believe that. I don't really believe that a successful person is just successful because of luck. Point of main point here point of example catriona gray catriona gray my dear look at her i mean she cannot be successful just because you know what i mean like she did not become this universe just because she is pretty or just because she is smart right there should be a pattern i mean there should be a pattern between these all these successful people and that's what i really was curious about i was like what what's what's wrong with them like what's different with them than ordinary people and so that's the reason why i kind of like looked into these biography of these people and it's really cool that i was able to condense them in seven there's actually a lot of them it's crazy to think that there's actually a lot of of reasons why they are successful or they a lot of habits that they do and, but there's just one thing that I really don't agree about. When people say that you, when you want to be successful, you have to wake up early. I don't think that's real. Like when, when people say that, hey, in order for you to become a successful person, you have to really rise early. And I don't think that's, that's true. I mean, at least for me, because for one, I don't wake up early. <laughs> Reasons. <laughs> finding reasons they were defending myself no really i just don't think that it's necessary for you to really wake up early to become successful because number one time is very equal like for, for example you wake up 11 a.m in the morning that means that most likely you're going to sleep late at night and it's going to be the same hours same number of hours right it's just a matter of how productive you can get to finish the work that you have right it's not about waking up early like people say oh you have to wake up 3 30 a.m and i'm like dude i just fell asleep at that time like that's my time of sleeping that cannot be right like people there are a lot of people who for example jeff bezos before he created amazon he was this you know like this guy who is in like in, in his garage and like keep on coding every single day and doesn't even sleep like that doesn't make any sense like why why is it that the hour or the, the time of the day where you wake up is very important so that for me is not um is not what do you call this it's not true so i condensed seven of them that i believe that is completely true and that there isn't any you know um there isn't any deb what do you call this like it's not debatable kind of like you cannot say that it's shady or you cannot say that it's not true so these are the seven things that i feel is non-debatable and non-negotiable like these are the seven habits of highly successful people or even highly successful freelancers okay so the very first one is that they are highly disciplined okay might be a lot of <laughs> a lot of thought to take in it's like ugh, they have to be highly disciplined and i'm not disciplined enough so that means i'm not successful uh, it's not like that it's it's everything that i'm going to say here is very developable okay it's developable i always believe that everything that you learn on the internet or the videos that you watch everything that they say that you need to do is developable 
okay you can develop it now start working on it now or tomorrow but don't procrastinate okay if you can do it as soon as you can then start developing these habits right so going back to that the very first one is they are highly disciplined so one of the things that i observed is that catriona gray when she is packing to go to travel for example she always travels every year right if you ha if you are a fan of the miss universe page or you follow them on twitter or you see them on instagram or you follow katriona on instagram she always has a book in her bag when she is traveling or probably not even traveling like she just has a book that she reads like every single day i think she reads every day and I kind of like stalked her very old photos like back in like 2012 where she was not she was not very successful yet like she was just like modeling for sun silk and whatever and it's crazy cuz she always has a book like her Instagram photos are full of books and I even recognize one that is being read by my boyfriend as well which is the the shoot I forgot the title I think it's the power of now the power of Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. That's one of the things that I was like, I was so shocked that she that I saw it on her Instagram post because people who reads that type of book is actually very spiritual, as in like, like they believe that there's someone bigger than them and not necessarily God or the universe or however. I'm not. It's this like spirituality and religion are two diff diff different things. Okay. But as long as you believe that there is some some higher power bigger than you, and it was just crazy to me to look at like who Catriona Gray actually believes that, like reads these types of books and stuff like that, right? That's crazy. And then, on the day of what do you call this? On the day of coronation night of Miss Philippines or Binibining Pilipinas, she took a video i actually looked for it earlier in the facebook page of miss universe but i for some reason i cannot find it anymore it was on twitter that i saw her taking a video and she was like saying like hey i'm getting ready for the miss philippines i'm packing up my bags and putting my glam on and stuff like that she's doing that and at the background i saw her her bag traveling bag on the table with a book and that book was Grit by Angeli, Angeli, not Angeli, but Angela Duckworth. And I was like, dude, I read that book too. <laughs> and I felt attached. I was like, eee, Catriona and I read the same book. It's fun. Yeah, whatever. But it's a fangirling mode for me. And it's still the same thing. She reads, she reads books, you know. And that's one of the things that I feel like is very important is that if you want to be successful you have to have these certain disciplines that you inculcate in yourself so that you create a habit okay habits are called the routines right these are pattern of behaviors that you consistently do and that becomes a habit okay so what are examples of habits for example smoking smoking is a habit it's it's like being triggered by one one or like three times or like continuous uh, times of you s cigarette smoking and then it becomes a habit like you like it already right and my one of the bad habits that i have is drinking coke drinking coca-cola or soft drinks more than i drink water so that's my that's one habit that i'm trying to omit but because it has been a pattern of behavior that i've kept on repeating over and over again it became a habit now what is my point here it's that you create habits or you become disciplined to the point that you are creating really good habits what are those good habits for example when you say when you are a freelancer you actually have the freedom to work whenever you want okay and this is one mistake that i did when i quit my teaching job it's crazy to me how you can just work whenever you want and wherever you want basically and because back in when i was back when i was still teaching i always wake up early in the morning and I, like i wake up at like 5 30 and like 5 30 i'm already in the jeep or in the bus commuting to going to the the school that I, where i was teaching so that was like my everyday life and when i quit that it was different for me to think that 
It was actually amazing to just sleep in all day, all morning, <laughs> right? And that was one of the reasons why I was 45,000 pesos in debt because I kept on sleeping and I did not have a discipline. It was just like, oh, this is so new to me, blah, 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 blah. And like, I have, I have the freedom now. I have to do this. Like, I can do this, do that. But if you're not disciplined enough to say that 1 a.m. to 7 p.m., that's my work hours, no social media, nothing, nothing, nothing else, just work. If you are not that disciplined to create these things that would allow you to create a habit like every single day then you will never be successful like if you do not have set of work hours for example if you're going to say like monday today is monday i'm going to work 1 to 7 p.m tomorrow is tuesday i'll work only two hours wednesday i'll work five hours tuesday i'll work only two hours if you do not have that set of disciplines that would allow you to create habits or patterns of behaviors that you can follow every single day then your body will also go what chaos your body does not know anything like it's like it's like oh right now i have to do this or tomorrow i'll do this and then it's like just chaotic you're, you do not have organization right so for example you really want to wake up early because you have a lot of things to finish then do that that's a discipline but it's not for everyone you create your very own disciplines that is what comfortable for you okay doesn't mean that you say oh i have to be highly disciplined because demi told me to do so yeah but create disciplines that you feel that you are comfortable with and you know that you can commit to because if you're just going to create like random disciplinary actions or measures that you're not even comfortable with then all of it's just going to go to waste there's no point okay like it's like useless <laughs> right you know what i mean okay yeah so that one the very first one seven habits of highly successful freelancers or in general highly successful people is that they are highly disciplined and they create disciplinary actions and measures to become successful okay so what do you think are the things that you need to do to become successful what are those habits okay what are those habits that you need to inculcate in yourself? Are you comfortable with that? Are you going to keep on doing that every day? How long are you going to do this? How long are you going to work every single day? So you have to be very disciplined. Okay, the second one is they take full responsibility with their lives. This one is a big one. <laughs> this one is a big one. Uh, they take full responsibility with their lives. Personally speaking, I have never blamed anyone when I was broke AF. As in, as in like broke to the point that I, I just go to Julie's Bake Shop and buy Ensaymada for like two weeks straight. I was trying to divide my 70 pesos and make sure that it would last me two weeks. And that would mean two Ensaymada pieces every single day for my meal. And that's about it. That's it. So at that point, at that point of my life where I was like completely poor, I have nothing in my pockets, only 70 pesos, that I do not know how much long it's going to last me, I did not blame anyone. Okay? And I really want as much as possible i'd really want to orient you that it's good to take full responsibility of your life do not blame anyone like at that point in my life i did not blame the government because i was poor i mean no like i had it was me it was my fault because i kept on sleeping all day every day and i did not market myself enough i did not learn about marketing i did not upskill it wasn't anyone's fault it wasn't anyone's fault that I was eating Ensaymada for two weeks for my meals. No one's fault was that. I cannot blame anyone. That was my fault. I created that life. And when and when that and at that point of my life when I took full responsibility and I accepted that it was me and it was my fault that why I was like that that's when i started to grow and that's when i realized that hey i gotta do something about my life okay so i gotta do something about my life and i cannot blame anyone for this like i have to do something 
if I want to get out of this poverty, if I want to stop eating anti-mada for two weeks, I have to do something. And I took full responsibility of my life. This doesn't mean that I am like, I consider myself as a highly successful freelancer, not like that. It's just that that was the point of my life where I took full responsibility. Like this is me, like this is, you know, and I cannot speak for you, okay? This is, this is my experience. But personally speaking, I don't think blaming anyone in your life would actually help you become successful. Like if we're going to blame that, eh, I was born in, in a poor country or my parents are po- poor and that other people are other people are rich and that they are just very lucky to have these certain types of, of experiences and that they're very lucky that they're born rich and stuff like that. It's really not going to help you because you think that people or things outside of you actually affects what's inside of you you get me so if you feel like if you feel like you need to blame other people there's actually no one who can make you feel worse but yourself okay you have to take full responsibility with your life this is personally for me i cannot speak for you but this is how it went for me okay all right so let's move on to the third one the third habit of a highly successful freelancer is they are more than willing to learn and unlearn. Okay? I would like to add on this one. They are more than willing to learn and unlearn plus they take action. So it's good to learn a lot of things. I know I know you guys who are watching this video right now, you're very much willing to learn from me and that's really cool and that you're already starting to unlearn the things that you learned from your school or somebody told you about. That's cool. You're learning and unlearning things. But if you are not taking action, if you're just going to listen to me right now and then after this live video, you're going to stop and the broadcast and say, hey, I'm back to my old life. Okay, you did not apply any of these things that I'm telling you here. It's still not going to make you successful. Okay, what is my point while I'm telling this? It is that when you are learning something, no matter how mud, how many books you read every single day, if you are not applying the things that you learn from those books, the things that you watch in these types of videos, the things that you hear from podcasts or any other type of learning media, it's not going to work. Okay, so I know someone I personally know someone who likes to read so many books and so like take so many courses and it saddens me that he, she thinks that it's it's the solution like it's the magic pill like oh I just got to take this course I'm going to be rich it's really not like that you have to apply the things that you have learned in these videos in these courses in these podcasts and without that without that taking action pill you're really not going anywhere because it's all in here like you did not transmit it to become reality okay you did not transmit what you learned or you put what you put them here and make it into a reality okay so again third habit of highly paid highly successful freelancer rather is they are more than willing to take action ah, they are more than willing to learn and learn plus they take action okay fourth one they don't frequently compare themselves to others okay so i added the word frequently there because i cannot <laughs> I cannot imagine someone who just cannot compare himself or herself to others, right? It's very normal that a lot of us, sometimes we saw a more pretty, a prettier person or a smarter person and we're like, oh, she's smarter. Oh, she's really pretty. So we sometimes compare ourselves to others, right? And that's completely fine. But if you do it consistently and you let it affect your future, that's really going to take toll on you okay it's going to backfire really bad if you're going to keep on comparing yourselves to others as in for example <laughs> this is a personal experience i i know 
There's a lot of them actually. I know this to say I know someone that has been telling me that she cannot go into the into the freelancing field because she is not as fluent in English as I am. Okay, she said. Demi, I cannot go into freelancing because I am not as good in English as you are. And I'm like, wait, what does having what does pronunciation have to do with freelancing? <laughs> you get what I mean? She was actually insulted when I said that, but I was just like saying like, what does pronunciation and enunciation have to do with freelancing? Like freelancing is all skills, you know, all skills. You just have to learn these skills and become really good at one, and then you can start earning money from it. You don't even need to take calls if you don't really want to, right? And my pronunciation, enunciation, and diction, this is something that I've trained for. When I was in high school, I was blessed enough to become part of the oratorical contests. Like when when there are oratorical contests in in our high school back in the day, there they always they always pull me, and I've re- I really had professional trainers and mentors that were correcting every single word that I say. In worst case scenario, I I say this speech in front of my crush, like that was literally my torture. Like I say the speeches and enunciate the words in front of my crush. And then after after my college, after my high school years, I went to college and I sharpened my public speaking even more by by teaching, of course, by by being in front and reporting in our classrooms because we're required to do that. And there was one contest where I also was in. And then on after college, I entered Toastmasters. So these are like accumulated experiences. You know, it's a skill that I've wanted to sharpen every single time. It didn't, I didn't come here overnight. And even if I did, there's no point of comparing yourself to me. Okay. I (laughs) I actually am, I actually am (laughs) feeling a little weird because I know a lot of you are saying this, that I'm not as good as I'm not as good as English as you are. What am I going to do? That's not actually something that you should be worried about. You know, you're looking at it differently. You're looking at it at the wrong side or at the wrong angle of the cube, basically. Like it's not what you're here for and it's not what you need. Okay. What you need is one skill and become really good at it and know how to market it. That's basically it. You don't need to be super amazing in English if you know how to converse in English. I mean, all of us Filipinos, we have been speaking English since we're kindergarten. That's crazy. Very few countries actually have that blessing. So you have to be more welcoming of it. It doesn't mean that I'm really good at pronunciation and you feel like you're not confident with your pronunciation. You have to consistently compare yourself to me, right? That's not it. Stop comparing yourself to others. Each person has a different ruler or measurement, okay? You have a different ruler in your life, ruler as in the measuring tool, right? So you have a different ruler and another person has a different ruler and whatever it is that, whatever it is between the two of you, it's completely different. Do not measure yourself with somebody else's ruler. Do you get what I mean? Do not compare yourself to others, right? So that's number four. Number five, they make time for learning. Okay, I cannot stress this enough. This is very important. And I would like to commend you, like to commend you for being here tonight because that means you are making time for your learning. Yes! (laughs) Yes! Okay, so that's really cool. You're making time for learning and that's amazing. Even if you just do that once a day, like just watch a really good video, even though it's not for me, I don't care as long as you learn something, even though it's not about freelancing, even though it's completely different, make time for learning. All these things that you learn along the way is going to be something that would be you, would be Demi, would be 
who you are, you know? Like, these are like pieces of the puzzle that would create the entirety of you. And it's very important. Dude, <laughs> if there's someone who I know is completely making time for learning, I'm not saying this to brag, but my boyfriend is a crazy reader. Like, it just blows my mind how how crazy how hungry he is for learning and he's not even he's not even like he's not even you know like c student he's not a c student back when he back in the day like he was incredibly smart up until this day i don't like it when we fight because for some reason i cannot say something like he says something so true and i feel like i cannot talk back you know when we fight <laughs> it's crazy when your boyfriend is like i feel like he's smarter than me it's like it's very it's very crazy it's very weird to talk back and like i i always run out of words but anyway he's the type of person that i know that a saint every single day wouldn't be complete without a new learning and he he either watches videos or opens his kindle for more knowledge or listens to a podcast it's just crazy to me and me as of this moment i i actually am still very very hungry for learning and i feel like i need more time to read books i do it every night but not every night you know what i mean <laughs> i read books every night before i go to sleep but not every night like i still have a really huge pile of books that i have not read and i just bought four more last week like like i have more time to read more books <laughs> but anyway that's that's a good sign that means that you're still hungry for little for learning right okay so that's number five the number sixth is they do not believe in chance or in luck and wait for it to arrive this is a big one a lot of us wait for chance or luck it's like ah si demi sin muerte lang yan mm -hmm. they always say that as it's just it's just luck and it's just chance that she earns six figures every month and i don't i don't really care if other people say that say it that way but i didn't really happen like what you see right now what you see right now is the numbers or, or like the things that i've already done but you have not seen it when i was eating inside mada for two weeks right you have not seen that so all you think is that it's luck and it's easy and it's chance and it's chance and it's just chance but you have not seen the back of the camera you know like everything behind the scenes like when i was still black haired like a little brown now <laughs> i'm a little brown now with my hair like this and then i was like really i have a really long hair you haven't seen that you also haven't seen me very very skinny like i'm skinny right now i think i'm skinny right now i'm i think 52 kilos but back in the day i was only 40 kilos i fluctuate between 39 kilos and 40 and it's not that i'm anorexic or anemic or i have an eating disorder it's just that i'm very skinny because of stress and i like to eat i like to eat burger king dude <laughs> so it wasn't because i was i was having an eating disorder i was so skinny and these are things that you have not seen because right now what you are seeing is what's already been done if you see successful people right there like bill gates katrina gray and like steve jobs i sorry steve jobs is dead na pala. <laughs> so yeah these people warren buffett or whatever if you see them it's already the it's already done like you have seen you have not seen what they've been through for the past years like you have not seen that right so you that's why a lot of people think that it's in chance or in luck but they didn't really get there overnight i mean i didn't get here overnight like what you see in my income reports are not really something that i've done for like one week you know it's it's accumulated experience again and again it's something that i've worked hard for 
and it's funny because I actually posted in my Facebook story in my personal account right now that a lot of people still think that I'm I'm gold digging gold digging my boyfriend so my boyfriend is actually a foreign guy his name is Bo and a lot of people still think that I'm getting you know asking money from him and to think that <laughs> to think that i'm i'm creating income reports every single month in this page and that i've really worked hard for this like this is not something that i that i just ask for from anyone you know and yeah so it's just a matter of what other people say but at the end of the bit at the end of the day it's still going to be up to you right it's still going to be up to you if you're going to let other people control your life or you're just going to move forward and ignore them, right? Okay, all right. So yeah, again, that's six, that six, the sixth habit of highly successful freelancer is they do not believe in chance or in luck and wait for it to arrive. Okay, last one, the very last one is they continue to upskill no matter how good they already think they are. So whatever your core skill is, whatever you think you're really good at, then most likely if you want to be more successful, sorry, I just burped. <laughs> you're going to continue to upskill. You're going to continue to develop that skill that you have even though no matter how no matter how good you think you are. Okay? So <laughs> So you might think that I'm really good at pronunciation and diction and public speaking, but I'm still in Toastmasters. Like I have been doing that still. You know, I have still been watching movies, Hollywood movies, and trying to imitate their pronunciation. Like I still go to Netflix and be like, a damn it. Uh, <laughs> like after, after, a, after an actress said the word a damn it, and I was like, a damn it a damn it. like i still do that thing like it's it's me you know it's like i continue to upskill no matter how other people think i'm good at something like it's still me i it's learning is a non-ending cycle so yeah you just have to really be open to the things and stop being skeptical about every little thing you know, have to be open-minded. Uh, front row, uh, front row, open-minded, kaba. Uh, <laughs> it's not like that, but mm, okay. So let us see. Um, -ding 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 -ding. we have people here. Uh, so, yeah, I'm reading your comments now. So we're about to end. We're ending in 13 minutes. It's not even thir oh my god, my math is so horrible. Wait a minute, huh? Okay, I don't have my human calculator beside me. So let's see how many minutes do we have left. Okay, we have 23 minutes left. That's crazy. I felt like I talked forever. Okay, so if you have questions and clarifications, comment them. And I will be I will be answering them okay so whatever questions you have about becoming a highly successful freelancer comment them in the comment section and i will be answering them as much as i can i'm not really a personal development guru as of, as you might have noticed and you might have known but i'll try to answer it as much as i can okay dogs all right see ya um wait where did the other things go okay Jane Nian says hi and we also have Kiara saying true Alan is clapping her hands <laughs> I'm like I'm like reading everything even the even the emojis boy if you if you have questions hi huh, you let me know so that I can answer it we also have Diana asking if she can message me sure but i cannot it's so weird now like in my facebook page there are so many people messaging me every day for some reason and i don't know who to reply to i don't know who to uh it's just crazy just just today i received 163 messages so that's my life <laughs> that's my life okay so we have we also have um milka but shout out 
it's not like <laughs> shout out shout out wait it's not like that lol okay so we have i uh, know we remember <laughs> it's weird when you say when you say lol it's not actually lol it's called lol uh, so my boyfriend is an american and he told me before that why do you keep on saying lol like but shout out lol like why do you say lol it's lol and i'm like wait what because <laughs> i did not know hey anyway okay um we also have we also have joy do we only have one joy i think i saw another joy here oh, it's joy christine she said heo h-i-i-o <laughs> okay uh kb says thank you you're welcome and joy says her favorite video so far oh duh oh, i like it love and long <laughs> we have andrea saying hi with the heart hello and then alan is asking how many clients do you currently have well if you're talking about past past to present i cannot answer that anymore it's been a while but like oh yeah she said currently currently i have one two three four five five long-term clients that are paying me yeah paying me every month like there are consistent clients that are coming in every month so yeah i have five okay so yeah do you have any more questions and clarifications it's 7:41. Wait, questions wait it's your time to shine my dear friends okay this is like about to end and then if you haven't asked any question yet then you're going to regret it because i'm not it's not very easy for me to reach out on my facebook page anymore so if you have questions let me know right now already <laughs> okay so Louisa is asking, Miss Demi, do you offer training of different courses in freelancing? I want to attend a seminar to be a highly paid freelancer soon. Seminar and courses are two very different things, so I'm not sure which one which one are you referring to, but I do offer um we actually have a an academy for freelancers right now. There's seven th 73 people that are already there it's called create and rise academy and we will be launching it again on september 20 to 24 it's like it's like scripted no it's, <laughs> i know it very well from the heart so it looks like i'm just reading a script yeah but we're launching september 20 to 24 and if you want to uh, if you want to join then um how am i gonna do this okay i'll just type in the the what do you call this the link for the waiting list so if you're going to sign up to the waiting list you will be receiving an email about the information about the academy so i just entered that right there and you can go to that link and then enter your email and your first name i think it's the ask for first name and then you will be receiving an email about all the things that you need to know about the academy so see if the academy fits for you and your needs and then you can enroll on september 20 okay only only if you feel like only if you feel like the academy fits well for your needs do enroll okay so that you wouldn't also have a hard time you know okay ria is asking can you share the books that you've read or are currently reading i'm currently reading gig economy by diana i cannot pronounce her last name <laughs> but the the book is titled the gig economy and then books that i've read so far one that i really like is go giver by bob berg and john i cannot pronounce the last name again or i forgot the last name so go giver by bob berg say that's it um think and grow rich napoleon hill uh what else um cash flow quadrant robert kiyosaki what other else there are so many books that i, I just cannot think at the top of my head because i'm thinking about the best books that i've read expert secrets by russell brunson of course crush it by gary vaynerchuk there's so many <laughs> i don't know if you were able to take note of that okay 
Do you offer classes on bookkeeping too? I need I need to learn how to balance the books. We're not taught that in school. True, right? We're not taught at these things in school. <laughs> but my God, I'm very bad at math myself. You know, I'm just trying to like not not put it in my head because it's going to be a self fulfilling prophecy. If you're saying that you're bad at something, it's actually coming to coming to place. It's like it's really going to come true so yeah but i'm not really good at math and i'm not fond of it either like if i like earlier i was trying to minus 60 minutes to 37 minutes earlier and i cannot do that by my head like crazy but yes i do not have classes on freelance i keep guess at freelancing classes on bookkeeping and yeah uh best advice though on bookkeeping just just really know your income and your expenses like take note of it and there's an app money manager that's really good i'm not really good at math but i always have that app on my phone and whenever i have income i always make sure to take note of that and every time you have an expense always keep the receipts and and tag tally them on that app every single time and it it really helps like you would know exactly how much money you can spend and how much spending money spending money you have how much is it that you can save like you will also see the patterns of your expenses every single month so it's really cool yes okay so lizelle is asking at the demi i have experience in graphic and web design before i want to be known as a designer but i still want to learn video animation and editing so i'm not sure if i should just stick to design or still learn video animation okay so to start just stick with one okay and then i'm like burping all the time sorry to start with freelancing you just really have to stick with one okay just stick with one start there and don't complicate things okay i've always told my mentees this keep it stupid simple keep everything simple do not try to complicate things make everything as easy as it possibly can especially if you're starting out make things easy for you make have have one skill become really good at it and make money from it and then later on if you feel like you can already handle it then you start expanding to other skills right so just to start just focus on one and forget all other things because again if you already have if you really want to be a designer that means you have you, ha- you already have the skill right and that means you don't have to start from scratch but with video animation that means you have to learn it again and like start from scratch if you know you really want to do video animation that would take t- that would take time that would only mean that you cannot charge as high with video animation so it's not really worth the shot as of this moment you know because you still have you, you already have the skill so all you gotta do you already have the skill in design so all you have to do is to hone it make it better upskill it and then you can start you can start working for other people okay not for but with other people i always say that with with not for <laughs> char okay so ria says thank you joy says she's very excited for september 22 oh it's september 20 sorry it's september 20 until september 24 that's why it sounded like 22 <laughs> but it's september 20 to 24 okay yeah and then if you have not signed up for the wait list yet i typed in the link earlier in the comment section and then you can sign up there okay so yes uh just sign up to the wait list if you can if some of you here have not signed up for the wait list yet and you feel like you really need a mentor or you really need other people to you know have friends and like have an accountability buddy in, in learning new things and freelancing or how to market your skills then create and rise academy is the best academy for you uh, okay do you plan on doing meetups if you are actually a mentee and kathleen is actually one of my mentees then yes i am planning to do meetups my dear <laughs> pero it's it's very unfortunate for the people it's just crazy to me how like how like a lot of my mentees are from luzon and i'm actually in cebu so yeah but if you're a mentee and you're in cebu then you're in luck we're going to have meetups soon it's just like right now right now i'm actually trying to make 
make uh, make amendments with my clients because I really wanted to finish the course already before I relaunch in September 20. Like I want to make sure that all the trainings are already there before September 20 so that people who are going to enroll in September 20 will will have the full suite already of the Create Rice Academy. So that is my struggle. <laughs> Okie dokes. All right, so 10 minutes more. If you have more questions and clarifications, let me know in the comment section. So we are um, at this point, I will be reviewing to you the seven habits of highly successful freelancers now, huh? And then we'll have, I'll, I'll, check out the comment section again so that if you have more questions then i can answer it okay so review review seven habits of highly successful freelancers the very first one they are highly disciplined and that means you are creating systems and creating patterns of behaviors that would allow you to become successful okay Dis um, disciplinary actions and disciplinary measures that would allow you to become successful and that you're also comfortable with okay second one is they take full responsibility with their lives do not blame anyone for whatever situation you have in your life right now if you're poor if you're struggling do not blame anyone this is something that you have to go through in order to be strong or this is something that you have to go through in order that you can have a backstory later on like for me right now i had a podcast interview like two podcast interviews lately and my rock bottom where i was eating ensaymada was like the real deal like that was that literally happened and that was like the sweetest softest spot of the podcast is when i was telling my story and i almost cried but i didn't yes uh, <laughs> okay so that's it they take full responsibility with their lives the third one is they are more than willing to learn and unlearn and take action learning is good learn unlearning is good but if you are not if you're just reading books and watching these videos and you are not applying them into your life then does that just doesn't make any sense right you also have to take action learn and learn take action and then the, the fourth one they don't frequently compare themselves to others do not measure your progress with somebody else's ruler okay what your progress is your progress and that is your race somebody else's race is happening right now and you don't have to care about it just focus on yours right for fifth one they make time for learning regardless how busy they are at least at the end of the day they can still watch videos like this you can still read books you can still listen to podcasts whatever may that be for you they are more and more learning media that is outside and it is being released in the world right now that is convenient to whatever type of learner you are if you are an auditory learner then podcast if you like visual learning like this then videos if you were much more of a reader then read books right so it really depends on you the if you are creating excuses of not learning that that means you, learning is not really something that you prioritize okay all right so next one they do not believe in chance or in luck and wait for it to arrive so chance and luck is not a thing or it doesn't exist in a successful person's vocabulary there is no such thing as this person is just in luck today that is why they're earning this much every month this person is just successful because they earned this and whatever and whatever that may be we do you do not believe in chance or in luck if you want to be a successful person all right next one is they continue to upskill no matter how good they already think they are so no matter how good you think you already are you still continue to learn and learn and learn and learn because learning is a non-ending cycle okie dokes more questions oh my god sorry that was my mic more questions for me <laughs> okay so ria is asking there should be a quezon sit Kazan City meetups. Uh, I cannot really say, I cannot really promise that there will be one, but I'm planning one near somewhere like Pasay or something, like near the airport, near BGC, like that that area right there. So I'm I'm not really familiar familiar with the Luzon map. Okay. But yes. <laughs> okay um louisa is saying email please email me uh, louisa can you please scroll up on uh 
scroll up on the comments i commented the link as to where you can sign up to the academy or the wait list and then there's where you can oh shoot sorry um that's where you can uh, receive the information for the academy because i don't after this one i would go back to working i actually have a call at 8 30 so i don't think i would be able to um i would be able to accommodate you and enter your email manually okay so that and then we have melody what is the most in demand skill on freelancing business there's 10 of them that is top 10 highly in demand skills and there i actually have a video for that you can go to my video playlists and uh wait let me see i'm not even sure if it's a yeah just go to my playlist and then there is a playlist there that's called the secrets of highly paid freelancers i have jotted down 10 skills there is actually a video series a video series of five and you will learn a lot about freelancing there okay so skills and like what what you need to do to start and like how does a success path of a freelancer look like and stuff like that okay um Precious Lay is asking, for some reasons I can't see the link for the wait list. Okay, I'll just type it again. I'll type it again, huh? But this one, these information are actually in my pin post on the Facebook page. And you can always, um, you can always, sorry, you can always go there and check these links out. Okay, um, Alan is saying, can you give a short pitch when applying? Short message pitch when applying. So applying is not something that we do in freelancing anymore unless you are a virtual assistant and you are applying for an agency that would help you get more clients then that would say I would say that is applying but in freelancing we close deals okay so we try to close and pitch other people and usually there isn't any script to that as long as you can just say and you can assure that the, that you can do the job so how is it going to go is that if for example there is a client that wants your service you are already talking to that client then you should always assure that client that you can do the job how are you going to do this send testimonials send your results like how does your work look like okay and then every single time that you are talking to that client always assure the client that you can do the job like for example the client would point out i really want a nice logo that is feminine and that pink and whatever and stuff like that and you always you always say this phrase in multiple different ways like you always say like that's completely fine don't worry i can i got your back i am completely capable of that type of logo and then you 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 rephrase that again or make a phrase that is very similar to that phrase always assure them okay so just assure them that you can do the job that's what that's what they really wanted to hear that's all they want to hear okay thank you very much for sharing your time and knowledge thank you very much to melody for spending your time with me tonight that's like an hour okay it's really cool okay i'm leaving now in two minutes so i guess my last words here is that whatever it is that you learn in this video always remember to apply them okay whatever you spent an hour of your time tonight do not let it go to waste by not applying them okay you can always go back to this video if you want to rewatch it again it's always going to be available on my facebook page but always remember that apply it okay there's it's not going to be like these things are not going to be efficient if you're just going to just let it go to waste and like continue to go back with your lives without without applying any one of these okay and um last one i actually have what is this oops okay so this guy this guy right here -na -na -na, his name is brendan brendan burchard he is the the author of high performance habits that's his book and if you want to 
you know, if you want to look at or if you want, if you're a reader and you really want to read books, this is one of the books that I highly recommend. It's really good. And yeah, you can just purchase. It's not actually available in National Bookstore, by the way. It's mostly on Fully Booked and online. I found one. So high, high Performance Habits on a Fully Booked. Okay, not on National Bookstore. I For some reason, like, like books on National Bookstore is like <laughs> not something they don't really release like really nice books that are coming from like really top 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 authors you know i don't know i don't know okay so that is 759 for me thank you very much for spending your time with me tonight i'm very thankful and congratulations you have reached the end of this video that means you're more than willing to learn and I have no question about that. My question now is, are you going to apply the things that you've learned today? Okay. All right. So that's all for me tonight. I will see you in the next one. Bye.